Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss a numerical technique called newton raphson method. We will also see a couple of examples based on this method. This method is useful to solve transcendental as well as algebraic equations. So let us first see prerequisite for it. To understand newton raphson method, one has to know definition of algebraic and transcendental equations solution to algebraic and transcendental equations as well as interval or range of the solution. All these things are already discussed in my previous video. Link of that video is given in the description box. Now let us see the method. Aim of newton raphson method to solve equation of the type p n x is equal to 0. Here p n x refers to a polynomial in x of degree n. So let us see step 1. In step 1, we find two points, say x is equal to a and b, such that p and a and p and b are opposite in sign. This step will give us the range or interval a comma b in which the solution or root of the equation lies. In step 2, we begin by considering first better approximate solution x1 as midpoint of a and b. It is given by a plus b by 2. Then using x1, we find the next better approximate solution x2 using newton raphson method formula, which is x2 is equal to x1 minus pn x1 upon pn dash x1, where pn dash refers to derivative of pn. In step 3, we repeat this process and continue evaluating better approximate roots to the equation using formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus pn xn upon pn dash xn and finally we stop when we find the desired accuracy of the solution. I hope guys you understood these four steps involved in newton raphson method. Now let us see some real examples. In this first example we are asked to solve this algebraic equation x cube minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 using newton raphson method. Let us begin to the solution. First, we have to find out p and x from this equation. Here, p and x is x cube minus x minus 1. Now, as per step 1, we have to find a and b two points such that p and a and p and b are opposite in sign. For this, you have to use trial and error technique. You have to keep changing values for a and b and check for what values for a and b, p and a and p and b are opposite in sign. Those two values are the required values. For this example, I let a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2. Then p and a will be 1 cube minus 1 minus 1, which is just minus 1. Similarly, p and b, that is p and 2, will be 2 cube minus 2 minus 1, which is just 5. Clearly, p and a and p and b are opposite in sign. Therefore, root to this equation lies between a comma b that is 1 comma 2. Now we go for step 2. In step 2 we have to consider the first better approximate solution as a plus b by 2. So here a plus b by 2 is 1 plus 2 by 2 which is 1.5. So x1 is our first better approximate solution. Using x1 and using newton raphson method formula we will find out next better approximate solution that is x2 given by x2 is equal to x1 minus pn x1 upon pn dash x1 where pn dash is derivative of pn. Recall that pn x is x cube minus x minus 1 then pn dash will be 3 x square minus 1 minus 0. Recall x1 is 1.5. Now using this data you can find out x2 using this formula. So x1 is 1.5, pn x1 means pn 1.5 and pn dash x1 means pn dash 1.5. Substituting 1.5 in this expression for pn x and in this expression for pn dash x, we get x2 as 1.3478. Now we go for step 3. According to step 3, we have to keep on finding further better approximate solutions say x3, x4 and so on. 
Now we write these further values in a tabular format as follows. So we create table of calculation like this. There will be only three columns. First column is iteration number. Second one is Xn value and third one is Xn plus one value. This value we will find out using this formula of Newton Raphson. As per first iteration, we have taken X1 as 1.5. Then using x1, we found x2 as 1.3478. Since this is x2, this same value will go to iteration number 2, where we have to write x2 here. So now using x2, we will find out x3 here, because when n is 2, here xn plus 1 means x3. So here we have to write x3 value. I suggest you guys to keep your calculators handy so that you can calculate these values. So x3 formula is x2 minus pn x2 upon pn dash x2. So using these expressions for pn x and pn dash x, you can find out what is x3. I see I got x3 as 1.3252. Once again, the same value of x3 will go to iteration number 3 where we have to write x3 in this cell. Now using this x3, we will find out x4 in this cell. So x4 will be x3 minus pn x3 upon pn dash x3. So using this formula and a calculator, you will get x4 as 1.3247. This value of x4 will go in this cell. So at iteration number 4, you get x4 as 1.3247. Once again, you can find out x5 using this formula. I see it is 1.3247. Now after this fourth iteration, I stop because I find value of x5 and x4 are same up to four decimal places. That means our solutions are matching up to four decimal places. So we can say that the corresponding equation will have root approximately equal to 1.3247. I hope guys you understood this method called as Newton Raphson method to solve algebraic and transcendental equation. Now let me show you second example where we will solve a transcendental equation. So here is the question, solve using Newton Raphson method, this equation e raised to minus x minus sin x is equal to 0. Let us look at its solution. First we note down what is pn x here. From this equation you can write pn x as e raised to minus x minus sin x. Now as per step 1, we have to find out two points A and B such that P and A and P and B are opposite in sign. So I let A as 0 and B as 1. Then P and A will be E raised to 0 minus sin 0. But E raised to 0 is always 1 and sin 0 is 0. So we get P and A as 1. Similarly, P and B will be E raised to minus 1 minus sin 1. I will suggest you guys to keep your calculator mode on radians because here we are calculating some trigonometric functions. So value of P and B will be minus 0 0.4736. Clearly value of P and A and P and B are opposite in sign. Therefore root of the given equation will lie between the interval A comma B that is 0 comma 1. Now we go for step 2. Here we will find our first better approximate solution x1 which is midpoint of a comma b. Midpoint of a comma b is given by a plus b by 2. So here first better approximate solution x1 will be given by 0 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5. Now using Newton Raphson method formula and value of x1 we will find out second better approximate solution using formula x2 is equal to x1 minus pn x1 upon pn dash x1 where pn dash is derivative of pn. Recall pn x is this so its derivative will be minus e raised to minus x minus cos x. I hope you know how to find out derivatives. This was our x1 and this is formula for x2. So this x1 value goes here pn x1 means pn 0 0.5, pn dash x1 means pn dash 0 
Now substitute 0 0.5 in this expression for Pn x and this expression for Pn dash x. You will find x2 as 0 0.5856. Now we proceed to step 3 where we have to continue this process of finding further better approximate solutions. But now we will write these values in a tabular format as follows. Recall that this is our expression for Pn x. So Pn dash will be minus e raised to minus x minus cos x and also recall x1 was 0 0.5 this is our table of calculations in iteration number one we have already taken x1 as 0 0.5 and using x1 we have already found x2 as 0 0.5856 now for iteration number two here we have to write value of x2 which we have already found in this cell so i'll write this value as it is here now we will find x3 in this cell. Formula for x3 will be x2 minus pn x2 upon pn dash x2. So using calculator you can find this easily. I see it is 0 0.5885. Now for iteration number 3 we will write x3 value here which we calculated in this cell. It is 0 0.5885. Now in this cell we will find out x4 value. x4 will be x3 minus pn x3 upon pn dash x3. So using calculator, you can find it is equal to 0 0.5885. So this same value once again goes in this cell for iteration number 4. Now after iteration number 4, I stop here because I see solution x3 and x4 are same up to 4 decimal places. So we say solution to the equation e raised to minus x minus sin x is equal to 0 is approximately equal to 0 0.5885 and is correct up to 4 decimal places. I hope guys you understood this example as well which we solved using newton raphson method. Now I have a couple of practice example for you. Their solutions are also given below. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. In my next video, I'll be coming with more such interesting topic. Till then, keep watching my video. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.